All right, we want to get back to today's news as well. As we were telling you at the top of the hour, there has been a spike in car thefts recently. And as our Olivia Proya found out, many of these thieves are repeat offenders. It's a message some say is now changing mindsets. The message that has been sent that is registering in their mind is that nothing is going to happen to me. There is no accountability at all. In a young person's mind, it's gone and forgotten, and they think that they, you know, there's no consequences. According to Buffalo Police, from 2020 through the first six months of 2021, there has been nearly a 72% increase in car thefts across Buffalo. Our stolen cars last year were up. Off the top of my head, it was in that 80 to 90% category from the year before that. And BPD says it's the same individual stealing cars over and over again. We have actually have some repeat offenders that will tell our officers, just give me my parents' ticket so I can get out of here. From the beginning of 2020 to now, Buffalo police say they have arrested one person eight times for motor vehicle theft. Another has been arrested six times. Three others have been arrested five times each. And nearly 50 people have been arrested for motor vehicle theft two or three times. Nearly all, I'm told, were under 18. And the problem with repeat offenders is that under the new bail statute, the, st the, the, the stolen car cases, the actual crimes, is an, it's a non-qualifying offense. They're not, they're, they're not eligible for bail. And every time they get arraigned, they get out. They have to be let go because of bail reform. There are no consequences. They understand that there are no consequences and they don't care. DA Flynn says it's crucial that aspect of bail reform is revisited because he says without accountability, these juveniles could end up on the wrong path. At the end of that path are three options. Either they're going to get killed or shot, they're going to go to jail, or they're going to turn their life around. And I'm doing whatever I can for number three so they can turn her life around. And Flynn says if one's life can't be turned around, he has an obligation to send that individual to jail. If I can't turn her life around, then I'm going to put him in jail because the number one, being dead, is not an option. Buffalo police are asking those in the Queen City to lock their cars, remove their keys, and to never leave a running car unattended. They say this will help them prevent further thefts. Olivia Proya, 7 Eyewitness News.